Good morning, Pace Pirates. I'm Nate Sego. And I'm Judy Thomas. Today is Tuesday, January 19th. And man, what a weekend I had, including the extra day. I got to go fishing at the beach, and I had a lot of good luck. Same with me. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. And the Pace Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We at Pace pledge the truth, truth everyone, with fairness, kindness, and respect. Hey Nate, are you any good at basketball? I'm not skilled at all because I can't dribble, I can't aim, and I can't pass. Well then, it's a good thing you signed up for Basketball Club, which starts today at 3.45. Next up is Into the Wild. Into the Wild. The aardvark originated from South Africa. Its diet consists of termites and insects. Fun fact, they live up to 18 years in the wild. Whale shark, they eat tiny plankton. They inhabit both deep and shallow coastal waters. A fun fact is their mouth can stretch up to four feet wide. Let's see if you can guess this. All right, first word. It's not big, but it's... Little? Now, the second word. It isn't obscure, but it's... No. Last but not least, the third word isn't an opinion, but it's... Facts! Little Known Facts, which that's the segment that is up next. Followed by my own segment, Florida Hot Spots. The moon has earthquakes. These earthquakes are known as moonquakes. The tree shrew is the only species other than humans to like spicy foods. Rabbits can't puke. Florida Hot Spots by Nate Seagull. Today we're going to be traveling to the Key West. Florida, or La Florida, was discovered by Ponce de Leon in 1513. His crew nicknamed the island of Key West, Florida, Las Martires, or the Martyrs, because of the thick and twisted mangroves along the shores of these Florida Keys and southernmost islands. European charts and maps listed Key West, Florida as Cayo Huso or Bone Key because of sun bleached bones found on the island. The control of the Keys went back and forth between Spain and England for many years until all of Florida was seceded to the United States in 1819. U.S. businessman John Simington had purchased the island of Key West. Realizing the potential for its steep water, he divided it into four parts, kept one for himself, and sold the other three to businessmen Fleming, Whitehead, and Green. These four names live on as Key West street names. The island of Key West became a U.S. port of entry. A customs house was established, and Key West became a transshipment port for foreign cargo from Cuba. The Custom House is now the official headquarters of the Key West Art and Historical Society. The beautiful Romanesque building features two floors dedicating to preserving the island's history, art, and significant events. The battleship USS Maine sailed into Key West in 1896. After spending a year in port, it sailed on to Cuba to show support and protect America's trade and business interests during the Cuban revolt against Spain. In February 1898, while sitting in Havana Harbor, the ship exploded. The cause of the catastrophe was never explained, but two months later the U.S. entered the Spanish-American War. This war won independence from Spain for Cuba, Puerto Rico, and the Philippine Islands. Here's my source. Stay tuned, everyone. See ya! You know, laughter is the best medicine. Here is Jokes with Ben. Followed by the White Dove Award winners and the quote of the day. Welcome to Joke of the Week. 
How do all the oceans say hello to each other? They wave. What do you call a fly without wings? A walk. Work hard in silence, let your success be the noise, by unknown. Have a marvelous Monday, Pace Pirates! But Nate, it's Tuesday, so have a terrific Tuesday, Pace Pirates! Bye! Bye.